Welcome. SAP Global Trade Services, or GTS for short, is a comprehensive solution offering, covering all aspects of trade compliance and management. It spans from sanctioned party list screening, through export and import management. It enables you to utilize trade preferential agreements and a variety of special customs procedures. In this video, we will focus on the direct filing of import declarations, through a U.S. example. This video presents a high-level and generic overview of a specific SAP product or functionality. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. The goal of this video is to provide information that will make it easier for you to make your own choices. Let us first look at some of the benefits of using import management, or more precisely, direct filing of import declarations, in SAP Global Trade Services. As we will see through a practical example, GTS allows you to automate and streamline the import process, through a high degree of reuse of already existing information in your ERP system. Improved regulatory compliance is achieved through consistency of data across processes and usage of completeness control for all customs communication. GTS helps you gain better visibility in all aspects of your customs operations through overview, alerts and deviation handling. Before we run the demo, we would like to explain a few key concepts regarding SAP Global Trade Services. Technically SAP GTS is to be considered a sidecar to your ERP system. GTS can connect to multiple ERP systems, even non-SAP ERP systems. Systems connecting to GTS are sometimes referred to as feeder systems. They are not limited to ERP systems only. Relevant data, such as business partners, materials and of course the relevant business transactions are replicated between the feeder system and SAP GTS. In order to create an import declaration, different documents from the procurement process are used. These documents are generally cross-departmental. In our demo, we will do an import declaration before the receipt of the goods. We will see how the system utilizes information both from the original purchase order, as well as the inbound delivery. The actual filing with customs authorities can be direct, like in our demo example or alternatively, through a generic broker interface. Some countries are still not open for direct filing and require you to use brokers. Other countries, of which several are supported natively in SAP GTS, offers direct filing through electronic communication. We will now kick off a procurement process that will take us through to the creation of an import declaration and communication with the authorities. We will use a number of apps. First, we will create a purchase order. Later, we will create the corresponding inbound delivery. Based on the inbound delivery, we will create a semi-automatic customs declaration before sending it to customs. We will end by looking at the response and release messages received back from the authorities. We will trigger the overall process by creating a purchase order. If you are just interested in the creation and filing of the actual import declaration, you may benefit from jumping a few minutes ahead. We choose order type, vendor and add relevant organizational information. We register the relevant INCO term as well as currency. On the Partner tab, we add the chosen forwarding agent. We continue by adding the mode of transport to the border, as well as the domestic mode of transport. The invoice number of the invoice accompanying the goods is also registered. We add the item information for the materials we want to procure, such as material number, the quantity and the plant where we want the goods to be delivered. Net and gross weights needs to be adjusted. We also check the confirmation control indicator, and we mark the item as import relevant manually. We finalize the purchase order by adding some additional data. As things are progressing, the logistical department is preparing the actual inbound delivery by creating an inbound delivery document in the system. We create the inbound delivery document for the created purchase order only.
Additional information, now available, and later needed for the import declaration, is added on the header level by the people having it at hand. The bill of lading information, provided by the forwarding agent, is also added before the inbound delivery document is created. The inbound delivery is the foundation for the creation of the import declaration. We will look at that now. We open the Create Customs Declaration app. We indicate the organizational unit we are acting on behalf of, and limit our search to the purchase order we just created. We see a work list of items for import before goods receipt. We can see a line with our purchase. We can, if needed, modify the quantity to be declared. As you can see, there are several options to choose from. We triggered the creation of a one-step entry for consumption. GTS has now created an import declaration by collecting information from the preceding documents. On the Geography tab of the declaration, we can recognize several data elements from the purchase order and inbound delivery. In addition, some data fields have been populated with configurable values. On the Partner tab, all relevant business partners needed for declaration has been populated. We can see that the same applies for the Transportation tab, the Document tab as well as the Reference tab. The last tab contains the audit trail back to the preceding business documents. If we move down to the item level we can, in addition to product data, see the customs value calculation. We can even see the details behind, the customs duty rates as a consequence of the customs classification etc. On the Communications tab the expected message flow has been predefined. Before we manually trigger the sending of the actual declaration to the customs office, we will check the declaration for completeness. The check informs us that packaging details on item level is missing. So this is manually added, since this is information customs expect to get from us. We do a recheck. It comes out green. We are ready to send the declaration. As we do that, the declaration enters read-only mode, awaiting response from customs. After some time, we should expect a response back from customs. We can see that by re-entering the declaration through the Display Customs Declaration app. On the Communication tab, we can see that release messages have been received. Further details on the Statuses tab. All seems to be in good order and our import declaration is completed. This functionality shown is available in SAP Global Trade Services, connected to S4 HANA Enterprise Management and or SAP ECC. Let us recap some of the benefits of using import management, or more precisely, direct filing of import declarations, in SAP Global Trade Services. As we will see through a practical example, GTS allows you to automate and streamline the import process, through a high degree of reuse of already existing information in your ERP system. 
Improved regulatory compliance is achieved through consistency of data across processes and usage of completeness control for all customs communication. GTS helps you gain better visibility in all aspects of your customs operations through overview, alerts and deviation handling. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.